you know, visibility is so underrated. What a cleft. Maybe not tomorrow. Uh, oh, you, you're, you mad woman. No, it's a Wednesday night. I've just been to my fucking girlfriend's house. And I'm wearing my nighttime driving glasses. I bought my nighttime driving glasses back when I was on night shifts. And I used to wear them, like, obviously, when I was driving to work at night. And, um, did they help so much? I don't know how, though. Because they look, did they just yellow lenses on glasses? I mean, I look like a, <laughs> a class A prat wearing them. But quite frankly, I don't care. Because I can see. And it helps with, like, the glare and things. And it, I don't know how it works, but it does. It's just night. It's easier to see and it's nice. And now this light's gone fucking red because so we're going to sit here for ten fucking minutes. Um, a lot of motor vloggers are um, sort of making very similar videos recently. Um, I don't mean that. I mean, I'm getting on to something. I'm not slagging people off. Give me a minute. Basically, quite a few people are saying that um, motor vlogging as a, I suppose, format of video is uh, dying, as it were. I don't know if that's quite the word to use, but... Um, Jake the Garden Snake. I'm going to pick on his video. I'm not picking on it, you know. I'm going to pick out his video. Um, because it's the one that resonated with me the most, if you know what I mean. Um, he was basically saying how YouTube have changed their algorithms <laughs> so that... Um, so that it only shows, like, motor vlogs from the already most popular motor vloggers and uh, smaller channels like myself um, don't get like put into like suggested videos and things like that and because of this a lot of like smaller motor vloggers like myself aren't being found through suggested videos and things like that therefore you know the motor vlogging is sort of it's going away a bit um, and a lot of people are saying oh you know the motor vlogging it's it's gonna die and uh, and the motor vloggers that rely on their videos um, for their income, because, you know, it's like their main source of income, they do it full time. You know, they're, they're having trouble being able to support themselves and, them fa and their family and things like that. But I, I, a lot of people are saying, like I said, a lot of people are saying that this is the end of the motor vlog. And, yeah, a lot of people are saying uh, that they're either going to have to, like, change how they do things or get a full time job to, you know, and slow down with the video output and stuff like that. Um, and for me, as a smaller motor vlogger, the last thing I want to hear is <laughs> motor vlogging is dying out. I've only just fucking started. What? You can't die now. I've only been doing this a year. I've got 200 subscribers for fuck's sake. Don't kill my dream now. But no, I, I don't. I don't think it's the end of the motor vlog at all. I don't think that this is gonna. Are you gonna? Ooh. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't think this is the end of the motor vlog at all. I think that um, YouTube will hopefully realise their mistake and sort it out. So yeah, like I said, I I don't think this is the end of the motor vlog. I don't think the motor vlog will ever end. I don't plan on stopping doing what I'm doing anytime soon. And I mean, right now, I don't earn any money off of this whatsoever. <laughs> Purely because I have no idea how, pretty much. I know, I've, I've got my, my YouTube channel is partnered, but I'm not linked to an AdSense account, and I don't monetize any of my videos. So, I think, I might look into it, I don't know if it, because I've only got 206 subscribers, or something like that, 207, 206. Like, each video gets roughly 50 views-ish. I don't know if it'd be worth it. Would I even bother... Would I make enough money off of that to e even, like, constitute it being worth it? Who knows? Um, I'm currently talking to Dead Silence about it on Twitter, so maybe you can fill me in. You know, any extra money for me would be great, because... <laughs> I don't have a lot of money, believe it or not. Oh, so yeah, the conclusion of this video is motor vlogging ain't dying and it ain't gonna die. We're just going through a little phase at the moment and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will 
resume to normality in time. Because, you know, I post, I post, um, like, you know, some of the little clips I, I, I get and I put on my Facebook page. Um, I'll share them uh, on my own personal Facebook um, profile. And my friends will like it. And they'll, you know, like, they'll, they'll come on and go, this is fucking brilliant. What, what's this, you know? And things like that. So there, there, there is that interest out there for it. It's just, like, getting those people to go and watch it. <laughs> I don't know. If you're one of my friends in real life and you're watching this video, like, me let me know, because I don't know if any of you actually do. Like, message me on Facebook or something, if you know me personally. <laughs> my vloggers are dying out. We'll always be here. In your dreams. <laughs> Judge that.